Good morning, students. Today's topic is globalization and education. This topic's objectives are objectives is here. First is it has brought the governments and other political institutions close than ever. They are acting as complementary rate than comforting agencies. It aims at bringing the market close than before the consumer's empowerment by providing a vast free choice to create a strong civil society for the protection of civil rights and other humanitarian issues. A few flow of ideas and innovation, a better sensation about global commons and not to erode the broader but make them irrelevant through information technology and to resolve the civic political culture and environmental issues across the table and globalization definitions is there activity events globalization is the shape time compensation in simple words it means shrinkage of shape as well as time which brings together nations, cultures, and economies in mutual respect for one another. Globalization is the system of interaction among the countries of the world in order to develop the global economy. Globalization refers to the integration of economics and societies all over the world. Globalization involves technological, economic, political, and cultural exchanges made possible largely by advances in communication, transportation, and infrastructure. These are the definitions of globalization and the globalization and education. People. of human society and environment all the more and education in global society has greater responsibility of shaping prefred futures of the students and liberalization and privatization has changed the education scenario of today. Exploration of change, interdependence, identity, and diversity, rights and responsibilities, peace building, 
poverty and wealth sustainability and global justice keys areas where education has to play vital role developing skills of cooperation shared responsibility and critical thinking communication positive and responsible values and attitudes and orientation to active participation in the globalization and education few would i deny that process of globalization have impact education around the world in many important ways yet the term globalization is relatively new and its meaning or nature conceptualization and impact remain essentially context within the educational research community competing understandings of globalization under great diverse methodologies and perspectives in the expanding web of fields researching the relationship between education and globalization examined the area of the educational research which exploited at the turn of the 21st century requires a holistic views rather than take side with in this continuous field it is useful to examine major debates and trends and indicate where readers can learn more about particular specific specialist areas within the field and other relevant standards of research and the globalization and education globalization and education the quantity and quality of education determine whether and how the country can participate in the process of globalization and the aim of globalization education creating global citizens a global citizen is someone who is aware of the wider world and has a sense of his or her own role as a world citizen and respects and values diversity has an understanding of how the world works is troubled by social injustice participates in the community at a range of levels from the local to the global is willing to act to make the world a more equitable and sustainable place 
takes responsibility for her or his actions feels an ethical responsibility to others around the globe and the next aim of the global education knowledge and understanding the interconnectedness and interdependence and the environmental sustainability sector and factor that contribute to quality of environment and economic development diversity human rights change management in conflict re resolution and peace building and the next aim of the global education values and attitude values and attitudes personal identity and self esteem care and compassion responsibility and cooperation social justice respecting diversity and environmental sustainability these are the emer emergence of globalization at the broadcast level globalization can be defined as a process of condition of the culture political economic and technology meeting and mixing of people ideas the resources across local national and religious regional borders in which has been largely precise to have increased the intensity and scale during the late 20th and early 21st centuries however there is no global consequence on the exact time period of its occurrence of its most significant shaping process from actors as most influential interests thing questions also arise regarding whether its influence on human communities and the world should be conceived as mostly good or mostly bad which have clear and significant implications for understanding debates regarding the relationship between globalization and education and the next aim of the education is the skill and process skill and process is the framework of knowledge and critical literacy develop and express point of view 
identify unfairness and action to redress it empathy for others and environment and cooperation this is the skills and processes of global education and the next aim of the aim of the global education action and participation involvement identify and investigate opportunities consider consequences and identify and overcome barriers cooperate and value participation of others reflect and evaluate action in the action of participations and configuration of education is conceptualization globalization is globalization is a relatively recent concept in scholarly research and becoming popular in public academic and educational discourse only in the 1980s however many leading scholars of globalization have argued that the major cause of shapes of globalization particularly the movement and mixing of the aim of global education is the action and participation and the elements beyond a local and national level is at least many central many centuries old other frame globalization as representing processes inherent to the human experience within a 5000 to 10000 year time frame and conceptualization of globalization have typically highlighted culture political economics and or technological aspect of these processes with different researchers emphasizing and forming the relationships among these different aspects in diverse way in their theories and the next the teaching with a global perspective learning process and the learning process an inclusive classroom an inclusive classroom participation for all student center learning experimental learning providing them direct experience to learning and inquiry based learning interactivity cooperative learning building self esteem enabling critical literacy 
using current issues. These are the learning processes of global perspective. And the next globalization is the economic level on globalization, political issues on globalization, and conflict and conscience perspective on the role of education. And globalization and its impact on education. These are the, it is the affecting, affecting employment in touches upon one of the primary traditional goals of education. Preparation for work, schools will need to reconsider the mission in the light of changing job market in the post for this work environment. New skills and the flexibility to adopt the changing jobs demands for that matter changing jobs over a lifetime and dealing with an increasingly international labor pool and next the border economic effects of globalization tend to force national educational policies into a new liberal framework that emphasizes lower taxes, shrinking the state sector and doing more with less. In the promoting market approaches to school choice, operational management of a school, organizational and performance assessment and deregulation in order to encourage new providers including online providers of educational services. Zinda to maximize how educational most broadly defined can best prepare children to engage in a global world. The evaluating globalization while the explanatory function of epidural vision of globalizations intersecting dimensions is highlighted above. Many theories of globalization emphasize normative positions in relations to the prescribed impact of global and transnational processes and practices on humanity and the planet. Normative views of globalization may be framed as skeptical 
globalist or transformationalists as Fajal Rizvi and Bob Lingard note. These are ideal types rather than clearly demarked practical parties or campus of theorists. Though they have become familiar and themselves a part of the social imaginary of globalization. The way globalization is prescribed in normative and empirical ways by ordinary people rather than researchers. The positions are also reflected in the many educational discourses related to globalization despite their ideology rather than simply empirical content. These are the evaluating globalization and the next is there are being the constraint on national state policy making posed by international demands from transnational institutions. There has also been a growing internationalization of global conflict, crime, terrorism, and environment issues. Educational institutions may have crucial role to play in addressing these problems and the complex network of intended and united human consequences that have followed from the growth of global co corporation, global mobility, global communication, and global expansion. And the next is the educational system worldwide continue to mimicking and often mechanically copying from each other and borrowing curricular teaching methods and assessment tests for forces the forces of globalization are taxing taxing youth familiar families education system all social systems are predicate on the need to impart values moral skills and competence to the next generation and this terms the historical background of the globalization is the globalization and education are highly interrelated from the historical view. At the most basic level, historical processes that may identify as essential prescribes to political economic globalization during the late modern colonial and imperialist era 
influenced the development and rise the mass education. Thus, what we commonly see around the world today as education. And thus, what we commonly, the mass schooling of, would be regarded as a first instance of globalization, impact of education, as in many non-Western context, traditional education had been conceived as small scale and local community based and as vocational or apprenticeship education and or religious training in much of Africa, Asia, the Middle East, and the indigenous American, the Australia's institutionalized formal school emerged for emerged for the like the first time within colonial or often interests intersecting missionary projects for local allied youth and children of expatriate official and these are the educational system in the historical globalization and the live and experiences of youth growing up today will be linked economic realities, social processes, technological, media innovations, cultural flows, and education will need both rethinking and restructuring. These are the two, both are the need of the education, rethinking and restructuring if schooling is to best prepare the children and youth of the world to engage globalization, new challenges, opportunities, and costs. And the next is globalization have a wide ranging and potential to influence all sector of development. the impact of globalization and the manner in which the system should re respond to the needs of globalization would require to be stu studied basically under two board hats as follows the needed reforms within the educational systems the fall out of globalization. And this, the what are these need reforms of education? Content of education, the fallout of globalization. And the curriculum upgradation. The curriculum upgradation, the modern advances in formation technology have revolutionized, among other 
the content of knowledge and the process of educational transaction, productivity, orientation, the basic objective of globalization is to enhance productivity and to make the educational system an instrument in preparing students who can competence in the world markets as productive members of society. And the next is the research of globalization of impact of education, the global and transnational processes and practices have been observed to influence and impact various aspects of contemporary education within many geographical contexts. And thus the fields of research related to education and globalization are vast. They are not contained simply within one field or subfield, but can be seen to cross subdisciplinary border, borders in policy studies, curriculum, pedagogy, higher education studies, assessment, and more as mentioned previously. Modern education can itself be seen as one most basic in instance of globalization connected to increased interdisciplinary of commitment around the world in economic and political affairs first associated with imperials and colonials and more recently with the capitalist world economy and as the modern educational system cannot be seen as removed or scale sealed of the impacts of globalization processes upon education are often considered wide ranging through many are also controversial and the next is the internationalization of education the impl implicit of the system of globalization is the invertibility invertibility of the internationalization of the educational services gets which has given a boost to the internalization of higher education and the next is the finance related issues in order to be a 
part of global configuration, the requirement of fund for social services, including education, will increase mainfold privatization of secondary and higher secondary education as a corollary to the suggestions about reducing public investment in secondary and higher secondary a plea has been made over these sectors to private bodies in that topic the conclusion is the research that focuses on globalization and education use a wide array of approaches and method topics and orientations as well as diverse theoretical perspectives and normative assumptions the foregoing sections have explored their general field major debates and topics the relationships have been traced between globalization and education and there have and there have been brief comments on consideration for research one key point of the analysis has been that the way globalization is conceived has implications for how its relationship with education is understood globalization is framed chronically and what its chief characteristics are form culture cultural political economic and technological views and whether its impact on human life and history is seen as good or bad a broad con consideration of view points has highlighted the emergence of a middle position within research literature there is mostly certainly an intervent meeting and movement of people things and ideas around the globe and clearly processes associated with globalization have good and bad aspects however these processes are uneven and they can be seen to impact different communities in various ways which are clearly not on the whole simplify all good or all bad these are the globalization and education and the end of this topic some references is there these are the references of this topic and the multiple choice question also is there first question is what is the amalgamation and rapid unification between countries identified as globalization liberalization 
socialization and privatization the answer of this question is globalization and the next question globalization has improved the living structure of which of the following all of all the people people living in developing countries people people living in developed countries and none of the none of the above the answer of this question is people loving living in developing countries and the next question is which indian industries have been hit by globalization cement jute toy making information technology the answer of this question is toy making toy making is the indian industry have been hit by globalization next question which of these organizations emphasizes on the liberalization of foreign investment and foreign trade international monetary fund world health organization world trade organization and international labor organization the right answer of this question is world trade organization and the behind the investment of mnc's to benefit to the country's government for the welfare of underprivileged people and to increase the assets and earn profits the answer of this question is to increase the assets and earned profits is the right answer and the next question next question is which of these institutes supports investments and foreign trade in india international monetary fund world trade organization world bank international labor organization the right answer of this question is world trade organization and the next question when did the government remove the barriers for investment in india 1990 1991 and 1993 the right answer of this question is 1991 is the right answer of this question and next question is globalization involves a stretching of social political and economic activities across political fortunes a growing magnitude of interconnectedness in almost every sphere of social extension and accelerate accelerating pace of global interactions and processes associated with the deepening as eminence 
complement of the local and the global. And the end of the option, all of the answer options given are correct. The answer of this question is all of the answer options given are correct. And the next question, this is the last question of this topic. In the first wave, the age of discovery, 1415 to 1850, globalization was uh, beginning from a cosmopolitan democracy, was equally experienced across the world and almost among us, different social groups was decidedly shaped and European expansion and con conquest and saw the establishment of the International Convention of the Eliminant Child Labor. The answer of this question is was decivilly shaped by European expansion and conquest. These are the multiple choice question of this topic. And the end of this topic, all about of this topic, globalization and education, at the end of the topic, Thank you.